Hi everybody, Fintan Murphy here from Dance and Cloud. You might have heard recently about the launch of G Suite Enterprise, and I thought this might be a good time to talk about the different versions of Google's uh, Office-based product, uh, G Suite, or as some of you may have known it previously, Google Apps. There are now three versions of Google's communication and collaboration tools, G Suite Basic, G Suite Business, and G Suite Enterprise, which launched only a few days ago. G Suite Basic gives you 30 gigs of storage. It gives you Gmail, Google Drive, and all of the features within that, like Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides, which is Google's versions of Microsoft uh, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. It also gives you Google Calendar, Google Sites for creating uh, websites or intranet solutions, uh, Google Contacts. You get 99% uptime, as you'd expect in an enterprise product. You get 24-7 support um, and features such as uh, file uploads of up to uh, 5 terabytes within Google Drive. So everything that you'd expect within a, a business email and communication solution, you get within G Suite Basic. But what are the differences when it comes to G Suite Business and G Suite Enterprise? Yes. You get everything that you got within Basic, but you get some more additional features, such as Google's new Cloud Search, which was launched again only a few weeks ago. You get Team Drive, which is currently an early adopter. You get additional reporting and domain whitelisting, and you get Google Vault. Google Vault is a compliance tool within the Google Suite that keeps a copy of all of the emails sent in and out of the organization and on the record chats, and also allows you to run reports on Google Drive documentation as well. You also get unlimited storage, which is, which is pretty impressive. And this is one of the core reasons uh, that a lot of uh, organizations will, will upgrade to G Suite Business. And finally, you get a product called AppMaker that Google launched last year that allows you to quickly or rapidly develop uh, your own custom applications. So what do you get in G Suite Enterprise, the newest addition to the uh, Google Suite? Well, you obviously get everything that you had within G Suite Business, but you also get DLP within Gmail and Drive. DLP is Data Loss Prevention Technology. And this is important to a lot of high-end or large enterprise um, organizations. You also get Gmail Log Analysis uh, within BigQuery, so you can actually um, analyze that data within uh, Google's BigQuery. There's also additional features coming that are on Google's roadmap around stuff like Hangouts and security uh, that we feel Google will probably develop out within the, the G Suite Enterprise Suite. G Suite Basic comes in at a price point that's very cost effective for a lot of organizations, particularly when they're starting out. And a lot of our uh, smaller customers would go for this. It's £3.30 per user per month or four euros per user per month for those of you in the eurozone. G Suite Business is six pounds 60 per user per month, so it's twice the price, or eight euros per user per month. G Suite Enterprise, there isn't currently any public pricing for it. Talking about Microsoft Office for a moment, and just looking at maybe uh, which versions they would compare to. And I think this is important because many customers, when they're looking to move to, to Google's platform, are probably also evaluating Office, uh, Microsoft's solution within, within this area. And I think it's important to know which versions that you should be comparing it with because we need to be able to compare like to like. Me personally, I think that probably the G Suite Basic would compare best to Microsoft Office E1. I think that G Suite Business would probably be comparable to Microsoft's E3, and G Suite Enterprise would probably be comparable to Microsoft's E5. And you could argue on the lower end, uh, Basic could be compared to Office 365 Business Premium, but personally I think it would be more comparable with the E1. The Office 365 Business Premium is much more expensive per user. I think if you were doing a like-for-like -like comparison uh, for G Suite Basic, G Suite Business and G Suite Enterprise, I would compare it with E1, E3 and E5 respectively. When deciding what version to go for for your own business, I think it's important to look at your requirements. So what is it you require from a business communication and collaboration uh, system and do any of the particular feature sets within G Suite Business or G Suite Enterprise um, affect your organization 
And I think if you can look at that and try to match those up, it, it will narrow it down for, for a lot of you. Uh, for a lot of our smaller customers, startups and things like that, they tend to go for G Suite Basic. Most customers tend to go for G Suite Business. Incidentally, if you have any suggestions for topics that you'd like us to cover, uh, please get in touch either via email or, or comment in the posts below. We're always looking for new topics and areas to cover that are relevant to our customers. That's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this update. If you have any questions about either of the versions of uh, G Suite or you want to learn more about G Suite Enterprise or G Suite Business and because you're thinking about upgrading, please feel free to contact us.